What's up, everybody? Jason here for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. We just sold out 2022 Bowman Baseball Hobby 12 box case break Pikachu number five. And here we go, guys. So, if you have a little character sign at the end of your name, that means you won that from a team random. Everybody else bought in straight up. Really appreciate it, guys. Late go. And fresh case. Fresh. Bowman Hobby. Actually, you know what? I need to trust you. Shit. All right, and I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to rip probably a couple boxes at a time. Maybe four to six. And then we'll... We'll go through the cards. I think be a little bit more effective that way. Is my video buffering or something? Why is it? Why is it buffering? Alright, and we have only a few players to watch out for, and of course, you know, this is going to take some time, but, you know, we'll try to skim through the paper, and the shipping team will pull out some of these bigger Bowmans first that we may miss uh, in the paper side. But I believe uh, Watson for Miami, De La Cruz for Cincinnati, uh, Valera for Cleveland, Wood for the Padres, uh, Montgomery for the White Sox, Vivas for the Dodgers, and Wander Frank was the only rookie that were... Penny sleeping top blowing type of deal. So, if we miss any of those guys, the shipping team, sorting team will be the last line of defense right there to catch any of those before they start separating from veteran base and stuff like that. And I think the only thing that's shipping is paper base, uh, pa not paper base, paper first base, I believe. Everything else isn't. Rookies and all that, so just remember that. Everything ships. Chrome, autographs, numbered cards, and then just paper first. I think it still says that right. Yeah, only... Or no vet paper. Rookie paper or prospect paper ships. Only, only uh, Bowman paper first. We'll ship. All chrome card ship as well. So just no vet paper. No vet, no rookie paper or prospect paper. Only Bowman first paper cards will ship. Let's go next box.
Alright. Go with the next boss. And like I said, I think this would be more of an effective, faster way. Is uh, potentially just killing the first half straight and then going through the next six boxes. And then Jumbo will be so much faster too, so that's the good thing. What's up, Harold? What's going on, man? What's going on with the Calif California Sunshine Living? Oh man, you had COVID again, Ryan? Also, I was gonna tie, Ryan. Have you been, uh, I, is the. Uh, my wife has really been into this, like, Depp Amber Heard, like, case. Is, is it in. Is it in Virginia, like, near you? No, because you're in Washington, right? Or, or what? In DC, aren't you? But I guess that's I guess that's what's original. Oh yeah, I know. My my wife like watches like the replays early in the morning, like when we're up. Like for like two hours and shit. It's actually pretty interesting.
<laughs> um, Rex, you're funny. Uh, yeah, I mean... I don't... Like, it's good to have the help, but... I mean, at the same time, I don't mind it so much. I mean, it doesn't, rather, it doesn't matter to me whether I have the help or not. I feel like I'm a pretty fast pack ripper, so... It might not shed too much time off, for me at least. I mean, me, me and Joe have two different breaking styles too. I, uh, I think I'm a little quicker, so... But, uh... That doesn't really matter though. I was gonna say, like, I wonder if you're like there, just lurking. You know? So what do you think, Ryan? How's how's it going for for Depp or Amber? Man, some of the stuff, man, is crazy. <laughs> that like happened or what they found, like you know. Yeah, I, that's what I was thinking too. Is like I think he should be able to get rolls again and stuff like that because obviously, you know, some of the stuff obviously doesn't look so right now with all this coming out. But yeah, it's been very entertaining for sure. Like, <laughs> I just feel like Amber Heard's lawyers are not really that good, right? Like, my wife was talking about showing me the funny TikToks of, like, Amber's, like, lawyers and stuff calling the psychologist, like, by Johnny Depp's uh, psychologist's name, like, three times. <laughs> you can tell she got, like, so upset. Then again, those those people might be your colleagues or something, so I guess I shouldn't say much. I shouldn't say much. <laughs> All right, so there you go. That's six boxes. It took me like 14 minutes. Let's go through the six. All right, so we're gonna try to obviously skim through this. Yoleki, Cespedes. Separate the paper and the, the chrome. Massimo Costa and Victor. actually dated like Elon Musk and I, I thought they were like pretty serious but I think she ended up calling that off too 
Could have been dating the richest man in the world. There's your atomic one per K uh, one per box. There's a wander paper. And for the Royals, Wilman Calendario. Little speckle to two ninety nine autograph. Paper to Zach Veen. Zach Veen to 150. And Jordan Walker to 499. Alright, there you go. First box. Dunzo. Paper Rodolfo Molasco Felix for the Milwaukee Brewers. Wanders usually one wander per box, at least on average. Bonnie, 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 Bonnie. All right, next one. Speckle, another Simon Mozielti. Vibrations, number to 150. We got a Wilman Diaz, one atomic per box. Got a Bobby Witt Jr. to 125. And two autographs, Garrett Mitchell. 
which I believe was a Milwaukee. Um, wait, am I thinking of the right guy? I think uh, I think this is a guy that's also on the Milwaukee uh, Brewers, but we'll double check on that. James Wood. Pulled a Ray Allen auto out of that box of Revo. Nice. Revolution's nice. You get like four to five autographs uh, in every eight box case. So, yeah, if I remember correctly, I remember he was a brewer. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, the box. Should be, yeah, that's that's what you meant. Cause I was like, I, I don't remember giving you a box, but then, that's right. You won the randomizer. Okay, well, not terrible. Be excited about your caps. Ended up winning big again in game three. Hopefully I'm the good luck charm tomorrow for the Kings. If not, it's probably over. Played so well game one. And the first period of game two. But then that was it. Connor Wong to 4.99. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm going to game four tomorrow. I was going to go yesterday. Thank God I didn't, though. But, but uh, I didn't want to call off at work, so... And nice Colson Montgomery. He's a top prospect there too as well at 250. De La Cruz. For Cincy, that's another top prospect right there. Wander Paper. Seattle, Paper, Giriberto, Hernandez, or TB. All right, box four. And Gary Mitchell to four ninety nine. And Pereira, uh, Paguero. Top one hundred prospect to fifty. He's number seventy seven.
Kyle Lewis, purple paper. What's going on, Chad? Update me. What are they doing? Zaraba. Speckle. Luis Rodriguez. Little Atomic. Who Grand Slam on Tampa? Montgomery. Annie Margot. Not good, man. But it's still early in the season, though. But I want to try to turn that around. All right. Oscar Colas for the White Sox. Dusty, that is a purple refractor parallel. So the guy that I tried to take away Chad's 101 right there. So it's like all of a sudden, play against the Mariners. Darren Baker to 199. I'm sure millions. But I think... At the end of your last se of last year's season, I think that was the best season you've had in what in a little bit, right? Almost potentially getting a wild card spot. Rodriguez and Austin Martin is 299. Damn, that hair though. <laughs> and another Colson for 499. Just pick a new team, Chad. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> I know you love the pain, though. Jordan Walker.
beats me. Maybe you should get out of Washington. Maybe, maybe choose a different team in a different state. <laughs> Matt Frazier. But honestly, what is the best team in Washington right now? <laughs> Kraken didn't have a good season. Mar Look, the only thing about Maris is still early, right? Yes, I know you said that, but the not all hope is lost because the season just started. Seattle, oh, they're definitely rebuilding there. Who else is there? Basketball's not there yet, but they'll be there soon. College football, Washington probably had a better one. Actually, yeah, Seattle Sounders are always good at soccer. Come on, man. That's right, I forgot about them. Ian Lewis. Robert Dominguez to 150. Oh yeah, what's going on with the fights, guys? Let me know. Keep me updated, guys. <laughs> Man, Chad. But do you love living in the Seattle area? I mean, at least. You just gotta love your city. It's okay. Just be a Joe Burrow. Just be a Bengals fan. Alright, Chad, I think it's best to just move down here to SoCal. To start a new life with your wife. You know. The down payment on the house will be your Joe Burrow. And, uh, you know, just, you're just a Rams fan. You're, uh, you're a Dodgers fan. You know. All will be well again. All right, Ryan. See you later, man. Have a good night. Go Caps. Go Ovi. All right, guys. Well, not so bad. It took me 34 minutes to do six boxes, so I should be right on schedule to finish this a little over an hour. And they're like in the AFC, so you don't have to worry about them. Deep down though, Chad, did you like Russell Wilson? Like, did you love him as a Seahawk? Like, we always still root for him. I have a feeling you're not that guy. <laughs> I think if I was a Seahawks fan, I'd still root for him. Yeah, I don't know if the Broncos are going to be, like, the best team in the AFC West, but I think with Russell Wilson as their quarterback, they have a better shot. 
Because their defense has always been okay. Um, but they might still be another year or so out. But, I mean, it's just tough because that AFC West in general is just super loaded. They're still trying to recover from, like, Peyton Manning's Broncos teams. I mean, I guess you guys... I guess DK sucks. I guess Tyler Lockett's not a good receiver. <laughs> I actually love Tyler Lockett. be my play by play. I got the LAFC game on. I could vouch for that. I think Tyler Lockett is very underrated. He's such a weapon. Like, he's like... I don't know if this is going to sound right, but he's like the Darren Sproles of receivers. Like, just so undersized, but man... Great route running, great hands, speed. Yeah, I think um, I think the Colts are going to be dangerous, honestly. I mean, honestly, the, the, there was a point there with the Colts this past season, even with Carson Wentz as the guy. They look scary with that run game, that defense. Carson Wentz was, Wentz was just doing enough, you know. And it's pretty much the same team, but now you got a more consistent. I think Matt Ryan will be a future Hall of Famer, too, honestly. So you can kind of say future Hall of Fame quarterback there, too. Um, so I, I think they'll be pretty good, but it's just the Colts in general just went, just bombed those last couple games. Fields on the other hand, I got, I, I liked him coming out of college too a lot. He was one of my favorite players coming out of college this past season, but it just doesn't help that these guys go to such horrible teams. You know, some of these teams like, you know. I think, I mean, obviously the Bengals with the, their O-line, obviously he didn't endure a good O-line, but, I mean, obviously the Bengals team wasn't too bad. And same thing with Herbert, he kind of came into a great situation too. Like, Chargers weren't that horrible. They just lost so many games under like four or five points the previous year to get them in the top six of draft picks in, in the NFL. So, I mean, Herbert went into a great position, and obviously now you see the Bengals, obviously, in their second year with Burrow. Those guys went to better teams. It's just like it's kind of hard. I mean, look at Mac Jones, right? He got he went to a little bit better team. He did just enough, and you know got to the playoffs. Although the Bills are definitely the team there in that division now, but it just doesn't help that they just go to bad situations, bad teams. But I guess you either got it or you don't got it, right?
you just got Kanye, Rex, then that's the biggest one there. City. But then again, you guys did have the Bulls in the 90s and late 80s. If you really want well Chicago still. And the Bears won Super Bowls too in the 80s. So, I mean, I guess basically you guys had your time <laughs> with certain teams there. It's just not their time yet. Again. And then also, too, what are you talking about, Rex? Chicago Blackhawks. I forgot they won three Stanley Cups in the 2010s. I guess the sports that you watch haven't done well. I bet it was pretty awesome, Rex. I mean, I was a little kid, so I don't really remember too much of it. But yeah, I'm sure if you were a teenager in the 90s, I just only remember feeling something like that and I wasn't even a Lakers fan my sister was but like the Lakers 3P and then of course when they won two more a few years later Kobe and Shaq is something that I don't think will ever be replicated. That was something else, too. The alley oop.
Yeah. You should bring it up one of these days, Rex. Just get Joe P. mad. That Joe Pizzer, remember that time when the Bulls beat the, uh, the Suns in the finals? And they gave the MVP to Chuck that year? When it should have been Jordan? Alright, guys. Here we go. Six boxes here. Atomic autograph to 100 for the Boston Red Sox. Mark. Yachty to 399. Brady House. And Yuri Bell, Angeles. We got Wilman Diaz, Atomic. Michael Escoto. Gary Mitchell. And Dustin Harris to four ninety nine for Texas. Texas Rangers that is going to Mark Bassetti. All right, we got Puguero to one twenty five. We have Marte, Fred Batty. A green Jackson Coar to ninety nine paper.
We got Luis Angel Acuna. That's a blue shimmer. And uh, to 150. Fran. All right, third box here. And we got Alvin Guzman to 125. And a Mason Albright for the Angels Speckle. And we have a Young Kensky. No. Uh, Angel's going to mark. Christian Hernandez. And Curtis Mead. Three more boxes left, guys. Yeah, I feel like I haven't seen any of the big autograph names. Colas was a redemption. I know he's like a big international player, but... Luis Verdugo to 150. Those are Khalil Watson. I might have missed a couple of those already, but... Shipping team will get those. We have a warming burn able.
Whoa! What the hell is this? Prospector special? I've never seen this. Out of 49, Joshua Bias. I didn't even know they had die cuts in this. Uh, St. Louis going to Greg. Is that a big hit? Really? Well, good. Like I said, I feel like we haven't seen anything monstrous, so. Nick York. And Luis Verdugo for the Cubs. Randy Ramos with that one. Wander Paper. Two more boxes after this right here, guys. Jazz Chisholm to four ninety nine. And Victor Labrada. All right, last two right here, guys. Kevin Alcantara. And I feel like the Cubs have so many young prospects. Man. I know that one guy that's really hard on, uh, people are really hard, uh, love, sorry, uh, is uh, the Christian Hernandez. Uh, it was uh, Joshua Baez. Felix Valerio, little yellow. Paper, Christian Hernandez, there he is. Jordan Walker, I remember he was supposed to be a pretty big prospect. Wrist is hurting, guys. Oh, injured. Oh. Orange, Ivan Herrera, number sixty-seven out of the top one hundred. Twenty-five. Edgar Quiero. Yeah. 
Luke Williams. Last autograph hiding in this last box here. Good luck, guys. Oswaldo Cabrera to tune our three ninety nine. Man, my wrist is really hurting, actually. Matt Frazier. Ooh. Ooh. Orange. Victor Labrada. Orange Shimmer for Seattle. I thought that was going to be an autograph for a second. Watch our autograph just be a base now. And Eduardo Vaughn for Boston. Mark with that one. And Jeter Downs to 150. Alrighty guys, and there you go. So, we have a lot of numbered color that we'll be top loading. I'll do a quick little recap really quick. So all these colors right here will top load. So a lot of teams, if you didn't get autographs, of course, you might have gotten some color. So there you go, tons and tons of color for a lot of different teams as well, so that's a good thing. Here were your autographs, guys. Only one per box, so. So we got Matt Frazier for Pittsburgh. We have, uh, that's just actually a wave right there. Oscar Colas, purple refractor parallel for the White Sox. Pugrero, top 100 to 50. Calendario for the Royals, Speckle to 299, Valerio, Wong rookie autograph, uh, Garrett Mitchell, that is uh, Milwaukee Brewers, Luis Verdugo, this must be maybe a case hitter super short print, that's Prospect Specials to 49, we have Albright, Harris, Cavadas, Quiero, and Vaughn, so that should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, we got an extra autograph with that, Bowman. Uh, 
high school one. So appreciate it, guys. This is hobby number five. No, jumbo number four is coming up next.